Hello everybody. I am so tired, but this is awesome. Something's finally starting to happen. We're getting a little bit of drizzle, not snow. We're getting drizzle. There's a couple flurries mixed in. It's 35 degrees right now, but I'm assuming the higher up we go in this elevation, the better we'll be. So let's go for a drive so you guys can see what's going on. We're on Moon Ridge Road right now. At, obviously, as the storm picks up, I will be recording more. You guys know that. And then I'm hoping tonight I'm able to get a little bit of sleep. Yeah, we're getting a little bit of drizzle right now. I was expecting snow, but of course I was expecting a foot of snow by now already. So why wouldn't it be raining? <laughs> Well, thank all of you again for all the love and support, man. You guys are super, super gnarly, cool people. I'm super grateful for you all for helping me out like this. I don't want to let you guys down. So we're taking the back streets because the main streets are full of cars right now. Full of cars right at the moment. all the way to the other side of town. Now it's 33 degrees, the temperature dropped quickly. It should start snowing anytime now. Even though we got blue skies above us. What a cute house right there. Yes, I said cute. Hey guys, look how good I am. I'm not complaining about this or nothing. You guys are helping me a bunch. I'm so tired though. I am beyond tired. That's dangerous, kind of a blind turn to be passing this guy on, but you gotta do what you gotta do. I don't suggest that, but there's a long straightaway up here. It's 32 degrees now. I'm sure by the end of this drive, we'll have some snow coming down. We're going to the part of town that doesn't snow that much and then coming back. So hopefully by the end of the drive, we'll be getting more snow as this storm is rolling in. But as soon as I saw any weather happening, I had to come out, obviously. 20 minutes of sleep, that's all I got. I know that's all I got. I looked at the clock and it was like 1.30 or something. That was the last time I looked at it and I had my phone on do not disturb till two. And the next time I looked at the clock, it was just past two and I was thinking it was before two. So that's cool. So I know I, I got a little bit of sleep, so I'm, I'm okay for a few minutes. But tonight I gotta get some good sleep and then tomorrow we can rage. We can rage. Gotta make sure I can see around this guy before we do anything. But these guys are keeping the streets safe for y'all. They deserve a lot of credit. It's, it's a lot of work. Okay, we're gonna bust around in here. Yeah. All right. started recording it was raining outside and uh, now it's down to freezing and I do see a couple snow flurries once again the further we go this direction the less snow we're gonna get typically
places to sled. I like seeing that. Very cool, very cool. We're getting snow flurries now. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So rain, then snow. 31 degrees. It's kind of like a snowy sleet right now. I don't know if this is what they call grapple, but we're gonna have to grapple with it. <laughs> we're turning down Sugarloaf Boulevard, driving through the neighborhood. I'm really thinking by the time we get back to Big Bear Lake, it will be snowing and at a decent rate. updated forecast that came out above 7,500 feet near 8,000 feet they still could get two to four feet of snow looks like our area could still get one foot maybe 18 inches so that's cool Sugarloaf Boulevard. Then there shouldn't be much traffic on the main highway going <clears throat> back towards the city. So that's why we're taking this out and then going back in on the main road so you guys can see what's going on. Get a better perspective from what you guys are probably used to. sled I think I'm not sure though that's right. <laughs> a huge snowball that is a huge snowball all the way to paradise figuratively and literally hang on a sec guys okay whenever i get a text message it shuts off the video unfortunately oh little kids little kids and the mama hi Well, 
when there's a lot of snow and ice on these streets, they are not fun. They are not fun. Oh, seriously, guys, thank you guys again for all the love and support, man. I promise you, once I get some more rest, I'll have a lot more energy. It's just, like, I constantly want to stay up on the comments because if I fall asleep for, like, a long time, it's going to be hours of responding, which is fine. <clears throat> but I need the rest big time. And I'll always respond to you guys. But for the people that have been helping me out a little bit, like answering some of the safety questions, I really appreciate that a lot. I really, really do. So thank you. Look at that, that's really pretty. That side of town, they're getting a little bit of snow from those little clouds on that side. But the big stuff is over that way. Well, we're gonna cross over. I can see, okay. We're good. Okay. So we're gonna take this one street called Elijah because it goes all the way through down to shore. Then we're gonna take shore to the boulevard again and come back around. But this is farther out in Big Bear City side, which one, where is Elijah? I think it's, it's one of the next two. Cool, cool, here we are, Elijah Boulevard. Man, Frank, this cool dude named Frank just bought a couple more beanies, I can't believe it. Unbelievable, seriously. So I'll get those sent out tomorrow, obviously. Oh wait, actually, well, I'll be dropping them off. I don't think they'll be going anywhere tomorrow because the post office isn't gonna be working tomorrow. At least I don't think so. We get out here to the end of Elijah, we hit shore, and then we're gonna turn right on shore. We'll drive into Baldwin a little bit just so you guys can see how once again how little snow there is compared to the other side of town. And look, it's just blue skies over Baldwin. <laughs> like always, we could be having a blizzard in Big Bear Lake and it'll be sunny over there. Look at that snowman. Wow super good oh that is so cool that is so darn cool you know what I wonder if I can get through I'm sure I can get through on one of these streets we're just gonna do that so we don't have to go to the main street yeah we're gonna go down fairway in this direction. This will take us out into the beginning of Baldwin and then we will turn around. Oops, stop sign. At least my brakes work. A little bit. I was, when I first moved up here, I looked at a place to live out here off of this next street, I believe. Not, not Bufflehead, whatever the heck that is. But the next street, and it looked like a really cool area, but then I found out that it doesn't snow that much out here, and so I decided not, not to take it, but I would probably still be out in this area. It's one of those homes over here. I know you guys can't really see it, but. Once again, you guys, please forgive me. I am so low energy right now. I am so tired. I promise you guys, if I was too tired, I would not be out here putting other people at risk, even though I almost just missed that stop sign. But I promise you that was totally just, just, I don't know, accident. I'm not gonna miss any more stops. I didn't miss it, but I almost did. And that 
can happen when I'm looking around so much. Barranca, that's the street I was coming to. All these messages even my my youtube notifications cut off the darn video which is unfortunate but i love getting them all right sorry about that you guys i just got another donation man you guys are amazing seriously you guys are amazing super super grateful for you all now i got a phone call coming in hang on i'm gonna pull over real quick just to not be rude this is my this is a friend of mine. Okay. Sorry about that, you guys. We decided to turn left down Big Bear Boulevard, and I guess I hit the volume button and it stopped the recording like an idiot. I don't remember touching anything, but it stopped. So maybe I'm just I'm I need to erase some videos, and I think that's what I'm gonna have to do. But we're on Highway 38 now, you guys. And we're coming up to Big Bear Boulevard up here. Again, I hope everyone's doing great. It's 31 degrees on this side of town. It's going to be pretty cool to see the difference, not in temperature, but the difference in weather from this side of town. All this blue sky to where we're, we're heading back to right now. How quickly things change. So I'm excited to see that. a dang thing you guys when it comes to our weather up here in the seven and a half years that I've lived here I've, I've never missed one storm the only time I've actually left was to go visit my dad in Florida and that was during the summertime and I could only book the flight like a week in advance because I wanted to make sure there were no monsoonal thunderstorms coming through can you believe that the first couple seasons I don't think I caught all the monsoon storms but after that, I decided to, to catch them all because I love it. I really do. I really enjoy it. So a good piece of advice for you guys. When you're coming up here, fill up your gas tank at the bottom of the mountain. And then even though you, you won't have used that much gas, fill it up right when you get back up here to the top. It's really, 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 really smart to do that. Because if you do get stuck and in the conditions we're expecting, it can take AAA over 24 hours to get to you. And that's something you do not want to deal with without having any gas in your car so you can stay warm bring food and water and warm clothing and blankets and also you know just like if, if you're going on a long hike somewhere let a couple people know where you're going and when to expect you just so they can contact the authorities if they don't hear from you when you're supposed to be where you're supposed to be at a certain time but you're not there darker it's getting straight ahead it's still very light out there for snow wise but it's definitely going to pick up and we're going to stay on the main boulevard because i don't think we're going to hit much traffic so you guys can see what it's like on the boulevard the main boulevard boulevard of broken dreams I wouldn't have quit that new legal substance in that they made, made legal a couple years ago in California. I could have probably gotten some sleep, but I'm not going to start that again. I'm trying to grow up and just do what's best for my body. Clearly what I'm doing right now is not best for my body, but I love doing this. 
so no matter how tired I am, as I said, if I was to a point where it was dangerous, I'm not going to put other people's lives in jeopardy. I'll go out for, for a nice walk and, and, and record, which we should do sometime anyway. All right, while we're at the light, we'll stop it. Hang on. And then right here, guys, I always like to, oops, ambulance. I always like to point him out. Big Bear smoking Vape. This is the nicest freaking store owner ever. And he deserves so much business. They have so many different types of just trinkets. And it's it's not just smoke and vape shop. They have a lot of like Big Bear local stuff. And yeah, I think you guys would really enjoy it. And as I said, he deserves people's business. Oh. seeing that to me that's a that's that's an accident when they're going that way it's an accident when, when they're going this way it's because of something at the ski resorts but usually they're these fire trucks are not going to the ski resorts the, these ambulances and fire trucks are not going to the ski resorts so those of you who recognize the town we are in big bear city Circle K is coming up on the left. I'm sure you guys can see that. <laughs> but yeah, we're going against the grain right now in terms of traffic, so I'm hoping it it lasts like this. And the darker it should get because of the clouds. Hopefully we get some more snow coming in soon. Obviously, you guys after this video is uploaded it's not going to be the last one for the night so don't don't even worry about that because as soon as it really picks up we're going to be doing more but i just wanted you guys to see that it, it is beginning oh that guy just lost something out of the back of his truck it was a rag that's a drag that he lost a rag As long as no, no, no people come flying out from underneath that tarp, we're good. <laughs> I just got to keep on thanking you guys, man. You guys are incredible. The love you guys show me is just, it's, it's just, it's beyond anything that I could have ever imagined. Never, ever expected this channel to, to be anything like this because I don't promote the channel, you guys. You guys see that I don't ask for subscribe or smash the like button or anything like that like I just I you know I just I love what I do and I'm gonna do do this anyways this isn't for for a business I'm just so grateful how much you guys help though it's just unbelievable so thank you guys two favorite places are the crepe cafe you guys get those nice french crepes it's so sweet and so good and mountain munchies is another one that's just freaking phenomenal they have such good burgers there and their french fries man their french fries are good man their french fries are good mountain munchies and cafe crepe there's a lot of good food up here my favorite mexican place is um uh, Cocina de Mexico. It's really good. Really, really good. I think it's been here a long time. One of the longest standing restaurants in Big Bear. Okay, so we just passed Division Road. Here to the left is the is snow play where you can take your kids to go sledding. It doesn't look like there's really a lot of people there, unfortunately. And they have lights for nighttime set up. That's unfortunate there's not that many people there. But it's also unfortunate that, oh, look what time it is. It's also unfortunate that we don't have snow, a foot of snow already or more, but that's okay. It's coming, you guys. It's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be the most snow we've had yet this season. It should be by a significant amount too. But you see the further we go this way, the darker these clouds are getting. Oh, he 
drop something else out of the truck. Jeez. It looks like it is snowing pretty heavy straight ahead. What a responsible guy. He saw that stuff was falling out of his truck and so he's stopping to probably pick it up. That is so cool, man. That is so cool. I love seeing that. But look out there, look at how beautiful that is. Man, it's definitely snowing out there. Snowing out there, but not right here. All right, look at that. And then just the thickness right over Snow Summit. It's snowing at Snow Summit right now, you can see that. Or I can see that. I don't know if you guys can see that through the camera, but I can definitely see that. Now we're in Big Bear Lake, but we're not swimming, so we're, so we're in the town of Big Bear Lake. I'm interested to see how much more the lake has filled up after this storm and the last couple little storms that we've received. I'm very interested to see that. It's going to be super, super, super sweet. Yeah, it's snowing on the mountains. That's good. on on some of the runs for night skiing at Snow Summit. Beautiful. We'll be seeing that tonight for sure when we drive by Snow Summit when it's really snowing. But it's starting to snow a little bit more the closer we get, so that's good. I'm like forgetting that I'm so tired, and that's a good thing. I'm getting a sixth wind. <laughs> As I said, I just like to, to make sure that I get back to every single comment and, and give you guys thorough answers to your questions. And well, as thorough as I can do, because it's really important to me. I want you guys to be safe when you come up here. I want you guys to want to come back up here. Because without you guys, none of us are fortunate enough to live here. It's the tourism that pays, that pays for us to live here. It's what creates the jobs up here. If there was no tourism, there'd be nothing. You'd have to be probably just an extremely wealthy person who's retired, who doesn't uh, need a job. But we're definitely turning. I don't know if this guy is going to turn or not. Doesn't look like it. Wow, we hit the traffic at the right time. The snow summit. That is so beautiful looking with those lights. uploaded right now as you saw when we first started it was raining a little bit and it changed the snow right away so we're just gonna run away from this little traffic here to go and then we're off like a prom dress right, i'm gonna shut it down right now peace out you guys see you guys soon